Well, the lady caught on camera allegedly stuffing white envelopes into this absentee ballot drop box works just feet away here at the front desk of the Margaret Morton Government Center. This is the post of Wanda Geeter Pataki, except she's not here. Put on leave pending the investigation into absentee ballot fraud. Still collecting your taxpayer funded paycheck. Where's Wanda? Fox 61 made a house call. Hello? Yes, we're looking for Wanda. Wanda's not here. All right, yeah, we just, uh, Matt Karen with Fox 61 News, we had a couple questions to ask her about the video that appears to show her stuffing the ballot box. <laughs> um, no, nah, you have nothing to say about that. Fox 61 learned Wanda Geeter Pataki is an operations specialist. She made about $60,000 in 2020, a public supporter of Mayor Joe Gannum. She also manages Pataki bail bonds and is a justice of the peace. She was ultimately referred by SEC over to uh, the state's attorney's office. And yes, she's the same woman named in a 2019 State Elections Enforcement Commission ballot fraud investigation, which has been referred to the chief state's attorney's office for possible criminal charges. Without getting to names, uh, there's a city employee who works at the front desk, clearly, uh, who, who uh, so no, to supports no connection, you. no. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's been, that's right. And speaking of not getting into names. You have to come back downstairs, young man. Hi, who are you, ma'am? I, I work downstairs at the front desk. And your name? Cheryl. Cheryl? That's Wanda, giving a false name to First Amendment auditor Sean Paul Reyes during his recent visit to the city offices. Excuse me, ma'am. You told me your name was Cheryl, but I seem to hear everybody calling you Wanda. Did you lie to me about your name, ma'am? Ma did you lie to me? Yeah, my face. Did you lie to me about your name, ma'am? No, I don't lie to you about nothing. Everybody's calling you Wanda, but you... my name. My name is Wanda. Yes, it is. Wanda also happens to be the vice chair of the Bridgeport Democratic Town Committee. This same person uh, was a celebrated political oper operative of the Connecticut Democratic Party. In 2019, she actually received a, a state party award at the El Grasso dinner. So this is somebody that the, the state Democratic Party knows. State Democratic Party Chair Nancy DiNardo. What do you know about her? Well, actually, I really don't know that much about her. Um, I'm not sure that I really know her. I know the family. I know she's the vice chair, and I know I have met her. But um, other than that, to say I know anything about her, um, I don't. All this while Mayor Joe Gannum continues to question both the authenticity and custody of the surveillance video itself. And while a judge gets set to rule on Monday whether Bridgeport's primary results should be thrown out and a new primary be held. Reporting in Bridgeport, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.